Learning objectives include what is drug resistance and how it develops. Well, resistance begins with mutation. What happens is with the continuous use of those antibiotics, microbes, because they, their rate of replication and multiplication is very fast, some over the, over the, over the time, the long time, over the years, would develop uh, mutations in their proteins and their enzymes in their system that would deny the presence of those antibacteria. And then this is also another beauty of these microorganisms uh, for them, but not for us, that they can trans once those resistance uh, or that resistance is acquired by an organism, it can shift or donate or, or, or give as a gift this capability to another organism that may be related to species-wise, related to the organism, or may not be related to the organism. As we saw you know, previously that there are three ways, transductions, transformations, um, and there was one more, transduction, transformation, and conjugation, that these bacteria or these microorganisms can exchange or give out their DNA genes or their DNA structures or their DNA parts. And this is what happens that they, once they acquire that resistance, they transmit uh, vertically as well as, um, vertically as well as horizontally. So if we look at these various mechanisms, they fall into uh, five various ways that the organism can resist the presence of uh, my, antimicrobe, um, antimicrobials. One is by blocking their entry. So they modify uh, their wall, the cell wall, in, in such a way that that antibiotic molecule cannot penetrate the cell of the microorganism. So if it does not go inside, the organism remains happy. Second is by inactivating by enzymes. So many bacteria like Staphylococcus and these Staphylococci gram-positive bacteria, they, they develop resistance against penicillin by making enzymes that degrades penicillin. A uh, lot of studies have, a lot of work has been done on these enzymes. And then scientists, you know, they also come up with changes in the, uh, the original antibiotic uh, structure. So this is a fight which keeps going on, like the bacteria mutate and then become resistant, and scientists then come up with another um, variation in that structure that works for a while, and then again, bacteria come up with another resistance. So, third way is alteration of target molecule. So, the target molecules for which the, uh, the antibacterial was made, uh, microbes can change their identity. That's the structural identity, not the whole identity, but just the target, like if this was an enzyme. So, if they change the enzyme that, bind, that bound the, uh, the, the antimicrobial, if they change then the, the antimicrobial would not be able to bind to them. So they become resistant. And this is also a, a cool way that what we call efflux of antibiotics. That antibiotic, for some reason, gets into the cell, but cell has developed a mechanism that throws that antibiotic out of the cell. This is amazing. So as soon as the anti antimicrobial molecule gets into the cells, right away thrown out by the microorganism. That's called efflux of antibiotics. So these are all various ways that the uh, microbes use uh, becoming resistant against those antimicrobials. This word superbug is also important to know. What is a superbug? Well, uh, when a bacterium becomes resistant to all kinds of drugs, it is called a superbug. And this term MRSA, which originally was used for Staphylococcus aureus, when it became methicillin resistant. So MR basically is methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA. Originally, this was Staphylococcus aureus that was studied uh, with respect to the resistance to methicillin. But then this concept of resistance was extended to many other organisms. Now, a list is, uh, of, this is just a few of them. Uh, as you can see, Staphylococcus at the top, then Enterococcus, uh, Klebsiella, and then there are two more, um, which are written in the book. You can see them. Uh, now, this term superbug, or MRSA, 
is used for other bacteria also. Originally, it was used for Staphylococcus aureus. Just remember that. So, in summary, microbes have various ways to develop resistance. And then, once they develop, they shift that resistance to other, um, uh, other microbes that may be related to them or may be irrelevant. And we also see superbugs, emergence of resistance um, against a host of antibiotics. And killing these superbugs sometimes is, is really difficult, uh, especially in hospital settings. So indiscriminate use of antibiotics should also be discouraged, as there are no rules in Pakistan. You, you can go to the medical store and just ask for any antibiotics, but that is really not a wise use of those antibiotics, because if you use them indiscriminately, indiscriminately means that even though you don't need it, but you think that you know, you're sick with some infection and then go and buy the drug and then, and then uh, you don't take the medicine in the right dose. And that is also a problem. That basically invites the microorganisms to develop that resistance quickly. And that is a problem in countries like ours. Thank you.